Come on, boo. Uh. All right, so this is kind of the uh, the next video. Unfortunately, like I said, we're going to be backtracking quite a bit. I got to go through uh, some of the videos that I recorded on the old phone. I have them on the computer, and I uh, like I said, the booger video. <laughs> we're going to get that one up. Um, so you know, it's kind of. I, I don't want to backtrack too much because I don't know what I've got on the other videos uh, per se. Um, but there are a couple things that I ran into uh, when I got here to Florida. All right, let's just let's just hit on you know what what you. I mean, you got to remember I've got no relatives, I've got no friends, uh, and when I say friends, I have acquaintances. You know, uh, of course, you know I'm up in North Carolina. My uncle, he loves me very much. I love him. Uh, uh, a couple cousins up there that I keep in touch with, but for the most part, my family's dead, or uh, I'm estranged from them, and uh, my friends are dead, unfortunately, and I should be dead. Can't kill the rooster for some reason, which reminds me <laughs> another story here. I almost killed myself again. Can't kill the rooster. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, I was getting the water pitcher out of the um, refrigerator. It's one of those old Brita ones. And uh, the handle had broken off, and I glued it back on. It was pretty solid, but I had, you know, three quarters. Now, one of the things here in Florida, this is another edumacation type of thing, is uh, the previous homeowners put down, and, and at the time, you know, when you're, when you're moving to Florida, you, there's a lot of things that you don't know, I mean, because you're from, you know, up north or wherever it is you're from. You know, hell, even living in Iraq, uh, you know, there's, it's every, everywhere you go, it's a whole new ball game, and, you know, happy homeowner. But they put in these wooden floors, uh, and I say wooden, I mean it's laminate over top of uh, concrete. Very pretty, very pretty floors. Uh, maybe we'll get that on the next video or so. Uh, and it, at huge expense, I mean this was years ago, $15,000 just for these floors. Well, I mean how stupid can you be if you spill water on these floors? Not only do they become an ice rink, uh, they also, uh, the, this, this laminate will soak up that water and you, the floor will buckle. Well, this is Florida. It rains <laughs> every single damn day, especially during the rainy season. The last thing you want is a floor that's going to absorb water. I mean, these old people, they just, you know, you just like scratch your head and go like, why would you put a floor in like that? You know what I mean? Oh, man. And of course, we didn't know it at the time we bought the house. And uh, I've already buckled. That was another reason I'm divorced. Uh, many reasons that I'm divorced was I spilt something over here by the sofa and I thought I'd soaked it up, but you literally have to take like baking soda and put it down into the cracks to make sure you get all that moisture out. It's a pain in the end. But anyway, this short story long, how I almost killed myself, the water pitcher, I'm getting it out and the handle just broke. And man, it hit the wooden floor. And I mean, I had a whole gallon in there and I mean, it just looked like a volcano. It just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, oh my God, water was everywhere. And, and you know, I'm trying to get it up as fast as I can. And of course, I'm walking around barefoot and I've got a broken neck. Now, remember, these are concrete floors. And uh, funny stories about, we'll get a funny story about that. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm trying to get the water up and everything. I slipped. Oh my God, I wrenched my neck. I, I, I didn't go down. Obviously, if I'd gone down and hit the floor, I probably would have broke my neck again. And that would have been it. Because and at the house, you know, at, at, at this particular time, I didn't even have a phone that worked. There was there would have been no way for me to contact anybody. I mean, nobody since I've been here in Florida has visited the house, except for uh, people coming in to do work and stuff. You know, so nobody. I would have laid in that floor and died for sure. Uh, and then I slipped a second time. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn my damn lesson. <laughs> oh my God! Wrenched my neck again. Oh, that's why I got this on because I. And, then, and that's something else, you know, if you break your neck, collarbone, and rib, um, remember Mr. T in the movie, uh, what do you predict for the fight? Pain. Nothing but pain. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's the way it is when you break your neck, man, because they won't give you, and it's a good thing, it's good med. Um, they don't give you painkillers no more. No more of the Oxycontin uh, is candy. Um, so you're just in constant pain. Now, one thing that the doctor did do when I got here to Florida is he did give me some good sleeping pills. So getting back to the, the story. So it was a week before I was coming back to Florida. I was uh, basically going through mom's drawers. I'd been through most of all of her paperwork and I 
for whatever reason, mom had taken, I got the video, the booger video, by the way, that's the one we're going to get up. I got the video of what it looked like, the stairs that I went down when I broke my neck, because what had happened was mom had taken the railings out. And I, I, I finally had a, a flashback of, I was reaching for the railing to stop my fall down the stairs. Now, I still don't know why I was going down the stairs. And maybe laundry, or I, maybe I made a wrong turn on my way to bed, because like I said, I was going to bed. Uh, I don't know why I was going down the stairs, but I do remember reaching for the railing. There's no railing, you know, and uh, so I, there's a, there you go, another edumacation. Uh, one of the things that I should have been thinking about was safety first, because my mom's house is a death trap. I knew it. I mean, you know, everywhere in that house, there's just all kinds of things that you can hurt, especially as you get older, you know, like me. Um, even though I'm, I'm, at that time I was in shape and everything, but, you know, you just never know. I should have put, the, I found the railing down in the basement downstairs, and I could have put it up. Uh, and I should have. I just, you know, you're busy with everything going on. I'm mainly paperwork, you know, for my mom. Of course, dealing with her uh, batshit craziness, too. All right, so here's what happened. So now I'm, I, you know, I, I, like I said, I got the story, watched that video, crawled up the stairs, got, got on the phone, and Ms. came picked me up. So now it's a week before the estate sale. Now, you would expect that the real estate agent and hopefully my stepsister would go in and, and identify my stuff because I've got nothing. Well, you're going to find out. I have nothing but expensive stuff. I don't, I don't carry junk around with me, you know, and an old pair of shorts that got holes in them, they go in the garbage, you know, I buy new shorts, um, you know, whatever. I mean, it could be if, if it's a Walkman, it's not the $20 Walkman, it's the $80 Walkman uh, that, that gets pretty good reception, you know. If I have a radio, it's the $100 radio and all rechargeable batteries, you know. So, you know, you're looking at $110, $20 for radio. So, my stuff was in two rooms. It was in the Florida room and the bedroom. Uh, the real estate agent came in and threw, it every, threw everything away. Threw away all my, my dive bag, my underwear, my clothes, uh, my radio, my Walkman. I had some Mike Lindell polos, threw those away. I uh, just, just cleaned everything out. I had some, uh, we're going to get into some of the things I've had to replace. Cost me, I'd say upwards of a thousand, two thousand. Now, I, I could make a claim against that real estate agent, uh, why they would just go in and throw all your stuff away. Uh, but I understand she's prepping the house to get it sold. And she told her people, you know, just clean it out, clean it all out. You know, and I had, I had bought some stuff that I was going to bring back to Florida, like I had bought big thing of bars of soap. Uh, I had some um, uh, baby wipes and stuff. Uh, uh, whole things of it. Brand new. Still in the packaging. Just went in the garbage. They threw it all away. Um, that's, so that's your experience. If you're going to bring in a, an estate salesman, you know, make sure you got all your stuff out. And I was going to, obviously. And it fell onto my stepsister to do it uh, because she knew where my stuff was and she didn't do it. And so all my stuff went in the garbage. So I lost, you know, that's good. So now when I'm coming back to Florida, when I get here, not only, well, of course, but the whole time I was in the hospital, I didn't have anything either. I mean, I, I lived with one shirt on <laughs> for like a month. I mean, I, I only had one shirt, you know. Uh, I did buy two pairs of pants while I was in the hotel room. So I had two pairs of, of, of shorts that, that I could wear along with a couple others, you know. And, uh, and I, they didn't throw away my computer, thank God. That was a $3,000 computer, so that did get saved. Uh, and of course, the like I said, the um, the guys. But that's another thing. All the attachments, uh, the GoPro didn't get thrown away. That was good. Um, so there were some items that, that actually made it out of the house. Uh, so anyway, let's get into. So now you know I'm coming back to Florida. I got nothing. Okay, I got nothing because everything's in, been gone in the garbage. No radio. No Walkman. Uh, you know, you name it, anything that was useful that I took up to Virginia went into a dumpster. Why? Uh, you can't, the, why the people work in there can't see value in a $100 radio? I can't imagine. You know, I would have been looking at it like, damn, that's a nice radio, man. I, Maureen says that's going in the garbage, which probably is what happened. I bet it ended up in a lot of their cars because it's probably a crew of three or four people that came in or, you know, maybe even more to, to stage the house for the estate sale. All right, so now we're back in Florida, and I uh, and, and it's the double whammy. So now my wife is taking everything. <laughs> so the first, the first order of business is I got to get that bathroom. Well, the guest, I, the guest bathroom, 
I got to get it uh, sanitary um, so that I can, you know, use it for, for my medical reasons. And uh, there's no, there's, Clorox is gone. The trash bags are gone. The uh, uh, vinegar is gone. The, 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 she, when she wiped me out, you know, and all the, the, I mean, there was some here. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but I had to find it. I mean, it was because the place was, you know, furniture in the middle of the hall and stuff, you know, because that's how I left it when I went up to Virginia. So, you know, it took me a, a good long time. And then, of course, you got to clean the bathroom and there's dead bugs in there and everything. So, you know, what am I lining up? And where's the money going? I'm, I'm hiring exterminators. I'm hiring uh, uh, the people to come in and work on the yard. Uh, you know, you name it, I did it. So let's just get into some of the uh, edumacation stuff that, that you're going to want to know. Uh, first thing that I've really enjoyed, uh, this is an old piece of shit toaster. Uh, you know, if you do get divorced, you finally get to get rid of all the shit that your wife wouldn't let you get rid of and get good stuff, you know, uh, if you've got the money. Um, so right now, you know, I, I just got paid uh, my disability. So, you know, I'm using that money to replace so that but I don't even have to replace it. I had a toaster oven that I she wouldn't I sat in a closet for three years while she while we were married. And, uh, and, and she wanted me to use this piece of shit toaster. Well, this thing, if you just, it's very touchy. If you just touch the dial, the, the bread comes out black. If you turn it this way, plus it's too small. The bread doesn't fit down in there, so you have to toast one side. Anyway, the toaster oven, oh my God, you put a slice of pizza in there, warms it perfect, man. Cooks up toast, so now I got the, 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 the uh, toaster oven. I, I tell you, get, get rid of your toaster. That's going to charity. Another thing that, my wife bought, and I don't even know why. I mean, these are great for cereal. And if you got kids and a family, you know, you can buy a couple boxes of cereal and put them down in here. I got like six or seven of these. <laughs> you know, they're all empty. I mean, why my wife wanted to buy a, a gazillion of these, I don't know. Uh, it, she does keep the dog food in, in one of these, so they are good for that. Um, another thing uh, that I had to replace, um, she didn't take it with her. She hates Tupperware, hates Tupperware. I, I'm not a big Tupperware fan either, but these glass block, uh, you can buy these at Amazon. Um, and I bought, I, I, that's one thing I've been doing, spending money, spending money. I mean, I, you know, the yard service, $400. The, the exterminators, $250. I had them come out and service the air conditioner. Of course, you know, I'm working on the garbage disposal. I got to replace the sink faucet. You know, these are all things that I, you know, had to buy all new Clorox, all new laundry detergent, all new dishwashing detergent. You know, I'm cleaning out cabinets. You know, all of her old stuff is going in the garbage. But anyway, this glass block is great because it can go in the freezer. And also, it can uh, go in the oven. Um, get rid of your Tupperware, man. Buy this stuff. Now, the, the problem is with these concrete floors in my hands, you know, I got no grip. Um, I've already shattered his dog dish, <laughs> you know, because I dropped it. And, uh, you know, so I'm always breaking stuff, unfortunately, on these hard floors. Uh, you know, here, here's another thing. I mean, now this, this, is, this is a blanket that my wife had for the sofa. Uh, now, as... As a single guy now, would you keep that? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> She's like, well, it's nice for people to sleep on. No, no, no. I wouldn't torture my worst enemy with that. So like I said, being divorced, you can get rid of some of that stuff. That's going to charity. So, you know, one thing I did stock up on uh, was the um, uh, hand sanitizer. Now, um, even the doctor, he says soap and water is, is better than actually hand sanitizer. But I like the convenience of it. And, uh, and then what I did was I bought the, um, the I, I like the big bottle. You get the big bottle and then you can just refill these. And, uh, and then I keep, um, I keep some of the, 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 the pump ones at, at all the sinks. So we're just kind of going through all the stuff that I've had to kind of deal with since I got here that, that, I'm, that I'm putting out. Uh, you can buy, this is a spray bottle that you can buy at uh, Amazon. Uh, and I bought six of these. Uh, you just order them. And you say, well, you know, why not just reuse the old Windex bottle or the old Clorox bottle that you can get? I tell you what, this is like the perfect size and the spray nozzle, because I don't know, I think they engineer into those uh, Windex bottles and those Clorox bottles obsolescence. Because for whatever reason, the spray nozzle on those just quits working after a period of time, you know. So I do, I do reuse them, you know, but I, these little bottles, uh, you know, and, and I mark each one. 
I have I bought and that's by another that's another thing that you might want to buy. I bought a label maker because man, you don't want to read my writing. You know, you could put a piece of tape in here and just write bleach across it. But I like this little label maker, so I just label my bottles. This is this is bleach. Uh, you can have one half bleach, one half water, uh, distilled vinegar, uh, distilled vinegar and water. Uh, you know, cleaning bleach. Remember, there's a different. I mean, there's another thing. You know, as a guy, I hate to say it, man. I did depend on my wife for a lot of the cleaning, and uh, I, you know, I, I, how stupid am I? I didn't know that there was a difference between distilled vinegar and cleaning vinegar. Uh, well, cleaning vinegar is just a more potent version of the uh, distilled vinegar, but you're still not supposed to cook with the cleaning vinegar. Whereas distilled vinegar, it's good for cleaning with, but it's 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 less. Uh, less potent, let's say, than, uh, than the um, cleaning vinegar. So, you know, some things say distilled vinegar, you could always just cut down the cleaning vinegar, but, but for the showers, you know, and then of course, you, it, that's how I gotta wash my showers, is uh, distilled vinegar and uh, um, Dawn dishwashing liquid, I say, or a dishwashing liquid. So I talked about those bottles. Another thing, you got the little monster, yeah, they use a little pee machine, man. And my wife had taken most of this, uh, but you know what? They make a pet formula in the spot shot, and I love the spot shot stuff. I mean, it gets the stains right out of the carpet. Um, the problem is, it, it does such a good job. You'll it, it, the carpet will be discolored for a while until you track some more dirt in. Um, you know, here's something for Kathin, or or even if you have a wound or or any area you want to clean. This is called Band Aid Antiseptic Cleaning Liquid. Um, and I, I, you know, of course I bought a bottle for uh, each bathroom and then of course a couple extra uh, to just uh, keep in stock because, and then what you do is you, you take a piece of gauze and you just spray this on. And this mostly kills 99% of germs uh, to prevent infection. Um, so, you know, before you cath or clean a wound or whatever, you just dab that, be sure and don't contaminate the gauze, make sure, you know, and then just I put this on there and I just clean the area before I uh, do my medical stuff. Um, keep a supply of that around. Uh, doctor, once again, soap and water, he says works just as good or better than that. Uh, the problem is, are you going to take a shower every time you uh, want to go to the bathroom? I don't think so. Um, here's another one. Uh, my wife took a few of these, and these got thrown away up in Lynchburg. Uh, these are. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to go with flashlights. Uh, I keep everything down to size AAA batteries and AA batteries, all rechargeable. Um, and so I had headlamps up in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. These are about $60 a piece now to get the good ones. And you want the four batteries, not the three batteries. They threw away about three or four of these up in Lynchburg. Um, so I, I'm probably going to have to order one or two more. And, you know, I try to keep about four or five on hand because it's nice. You know, I keep one in the car. Uh, a couple in the in the drawer so that when I'm going outside late at night got to walk the dog although I only get the dog for one more week and then she's taking him back so I'll be about all alone in the house again um, but uh, these are these are fantastic you know you just push the button see it's, this has got the red mode that's another thing that you want and so when you're out camping someday I'm hoping to go camping again um, if I get better uh, and then the red mode here is great for for camping and you hold it down one two three I can't remember I'd have to read and that's another thing I put the directions in with this in a in a plastic bag and that way I've always even when I'm camping or in the car or whatever I've always got the directions to the headlamp um, this is the way I buy my my soap um, this is the Dove uh, sensitive skin this is what I bought up in Virginia that got thrown away uh, I had two or three of these and they just dumped them right in the I'm gonna cuss man Every time I think about this shit, it really fucking pisses me off. Why would you throw this in the garbage? I have a feeling it ended up in somebody's car, but I was going to bring these home because I use a lot of this soap. And by the way, get the sensitive skin. See, this has no fragrances. If you ever want to learn about fragrances, go on YouTube. Fragrances is just garbage that the, uh, the uh, industry adds to soap and laundry detergent. And a lot of people are allergic to it, and it's not good for your skin, and it's not good for you in general. Uh, those fragrances are toxic, man. You might as well just want cancer, and that's why I get uh, this. Plus, I do have sensitive skin anyway. So there's that. Um, I don't know why I got the dog. Oh, that's a, this is another thing. Uh, you know, see, I like these. Uh, I mean, my wife always wanted dishes and everything. Uh, I always like the plastic bowls, uh, especially now that my hands don't work. 
And boy, I mean, in the cabinets, you know, now I can start cleaning that shit up. Because out in the garage, I got all my plastic bowls. And this is when you're a bachelor, this is what I like to keep. Because look, concrete floor. Oh, look, it didn't shatter, you know, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, here's another one. Um, oh, yeah, uh, they threw away all my underwear up in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, because I did bring an ample supply. But I wanted to kind of just talk about the underwear a little bit. Um, I like the Hanes, man. I, you can go through the loom if you want. Uh, I had to buy all new new underwear when I got here. Uh, I ordered it at Amazon. Because uh, I, when I tried to go to Home Depot, it's hard to get the, the right size. Uh, but the Hanes uh, holds up really well. Um, and because of my situation, uh, sometimes I'll go through one, two, or three pair of that in a day. So I have to have an ample supply of underwear around um, of course, I do the extra large. Uh, you can see I'm not really an extra large, so you know you're probably going to want to get bigger than what you think you're going to need. Um, here's another one. <laughs> All right, so when you when you're married, this is the wife's idea of a ice tray. Now my ice maker don't work on the fridge, and I've been meaning to get it fixed someday, but it's not that important because you can just put ice trays in the freezer, right? And, uh, and just use those. Well, look at this cheap crap. You can buy this at a dollar store for a couple of bucks. Try getting the ice out of this damn thing. It's a pain in the ass. Plus, when you, when you go to put it in the freezer, you're spilling the water everywhere. And it, in my freezer, it's a French freezer, so you got to get past them nooks and crannies, and I swear I spill half the water out. <laughs> Goodbye, wife! There you go. Now, here's, here's a manly ice tray. If you're gonna If you're going to buy an ice tray, now these ain't cheap. I mean, I bought these, I, I want to say 20 bucks maybe for two of these. I can't remember. It might have been 20 bucks for one. But see, it's got the lid. So I can, I can literally put this in the fridge like this. Now, I wouldn't do it because you probably get some leakage out the side, but it does save you. Uh, and, and then what I do is I spray just a little bit of oil in here. And man, I'm telling you, and what you do is you set this out on the counter, let it melt for about, well, in, in Florida, a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you're up north and it's 20 degrees in your house, you might want to, I mean, or, or 40 degrees above freezing, you might want to let it sit on the counter. And then you just, and the cube, see how these, these things push in? It's not like that plastic where you got to twist, 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 twist. See, this just pushes right in and you get the ice cube out. So we're getting some manly ice trays. Woohoo! Good to be men, 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 men. So yeah, sometimes, and here's, uh, here's another one uh, that they threw away up in Lynchburg. This is called a cooler shot. Um, in Florida, uh, if you put ice in a cooler, boom, I mean, you're in an hour, 100 degree temperatures, you're, your ice is water. Uh, these cooler shocks, man, there's, the, there's a bigger size. They'll last 24, 48 hours, the bigger size. Now, the smaller ones will last... Eight, well, on a hot day in a cooler, and if you got two or three of them in there, you might get 12... 14 hours out of them uh, and I mean I'm telling you they keep everything nice and cool now I've got to order some more of these because they throw them away up in Lynchburg anger 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 Will Robinson god dang it they threw every fucking thing away so then uh, when I was in the hospital I had no razors they gave me those um, well first off they wouldn't let me shave so I don't know you know you be throwing up some videos of, of me with a beard because uh, it's, it's considered a medical procedure for whatever shaving. Same with cutting your toenails. So, uh, and you would have thought they threw away my fucking straight razor in Lynchburg. So even though uh, my stepsister, my adopted stepsister, paid me one visit, one visit in two months in the hospital, she paid me one visit. Uh, she brought my shower bag because somehow the shower bag survived, but the razor was sitting out in the bathroom and they just threw it away. This is $40, $50 for a razor set with the, um, uh, this is the Gillette. Now, you know, I, I, I highly encourage you, watch the video <laughs> of Jeremy's razors from the Daily Wire. Uh, I wanted to get Jeremy's razors, but they were, they were a lot more expensive, and I already had a bunch of these handles. Um, but if you're a young person and you just start out, get Jeremy's razors. So now I got razors. That's another $50 that they cost me that they threw away. See, now here's the directions to that headlamp. So normally I'd have the headlamp in there. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, the other thing that, that I ran into, you know, men, 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 men. So I, I, my wife had this shitty-ass shower curtain. 
and you know the outside's got the drape on it and then the inside is the actual shower curtain and the shower curtain I measured it, it went from 56 inches to 53 inches so it's so that when the shower slopes up you know it gets shorter well you know when I went online you can just buy 72 inches yeah, that's what I want. I want the shower curtain to come up higher. Plus, I hate these fucking hooks, man. These hooks, look at this. It just sits on there, and as soon as you move that shower curtain, boom, it pops off. So I was constantly rehanging these, <coughs> excuse me, getting upset, these fucking hooks. So I said, man, that's it. Shower curtain's got to go. Uh, and by the way, I, maybe I'll get it on the video. I bought this real pretty, uh, it wasn't cheap, I mean, but it's got a beautiful uh, blue uh, forest uh, on it and uh, boy it really added to the bathroom and then what you want is the hooks at the top is you want the, these metal rollers and you can get them uh, either way you if you want the, the the two curtains set up which is what she had you know it's got a hook on both sides and then the roller just rolls across the top you can see there's no roller here this thing was hard as shit to push across so uh, and of course they kept coming off and, and then the shower curtain didn't cover the bottom so I was flooding the bathroom at least when I first got here. So I ordered a shower curtain and then finally I get into a closet and what do I find? <laughs> Another shower curtain. I asked my wife, you know, or my ex-wife, I said, isn't there a shower curtain somewhere in the, oh, what's wrong with the shower curtain? It's in the bathroom. It's a piece of shit. That's why it, it so next thing, men, 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 men. Uh, you know, I don't know what your wife is like, uh, you know, but one of the things that I like is the refrigerator. Uh, I like to hang everything. So if I get a coupon and I'm thinking, you know what, that'll save me a dollar off a haircut or I uh, get a coupon and it's uh, for uh, uh, Burger King and, you know, they're having a super special, uh, especially the Arby's ones. I love the beef and cheddar sandwich and they do that two for one coupon. You buy one beef and cheddar and get the second one free. And uh, so my wife used to make me keep all those in my office, and there was really no place to hang them. Now, I bought these magnets. Okay, they weren't cheap. I mean, they're, they're, but they're heavy duty, man. And I'm going to tell you what, I got, I got my fridge now littered with everything. I mean, cards, you get a business card, just stick it right up there, man. So now I got the refrigerator, because she didn't want it. They can't put anything on the refrigerator. It's unsightly. It's unsightly. You know, of course, I, she did hang stuff on the side of it. Which is stupid because if you just walk towards the microwave, you can see the whole side of the refrigerator just covered with stuff. All right, so men, men, men. Now we can put magnets on the refrigerator. Got bought some magnets. Uh, another thing, uh, you know, my mom uh, up in Virginia commented on a video. She was a clock person, and I did manage to save two of her clocks. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, it's, uh, it's nice uh, to not have to have the phone in your hand all the time. I don't know if the TVs have the time too, but not, not if you're watching a show or something. So it's nice to have this sitting out where, you know, if I'm watching TV or I'm working around the house, I can just glance over. And especially, well, then you got the electric clocks, like the microwave clock or the stove clock. Well, you know, the power goes out and boom, the time's wrong, you know. So I like having these battery clocks. This thing only takes one rechargeable uh, AA battery and uh, works for quite some time. Um, so I did get a couple of these from my mom's house. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't get much because they, they either threw it away or, um, or uh, got rid of my stuff, you know, whatever. Um, so, oh yeah, so now we, <laughs> now we get into this. <laughs> Look at this piece of shit. Look at this piece of shit. Okay, so this is, this is what my wife left me to clean the shower with. Now, number one, when I bend over, I get dizzy as hell. And I'm afraid I'm going to face plant. And if I face plant, I might break my neck again. And then I'm back in the hospital. But so I'm using this stupid thing. You know, look at this thing. I'm using this to scrub, scrub a dub dub on the, on the shower. Cause you're not supposed to, you can't use abrasive. You can't use comet. You can't use bleach, you know? And, uh, cause I'm trying to sanitize things. Cause you know, I've got my medical problems and, uh, you know, I, I was like, man, there's gotta be a better fucking way than this, you know? So, uh, I went out and I bought, uh, well, let me see if I can get it up here. Let's get rid of that piece of shit. Uh, here you go, man. This is this is a manly way. Now, now I can just sit in a chair. Uh, imagine this: I sit in a chair, and I got my bucket, you know, with the vinegar and the and the thing. Dip that down in there, and see this thing rotates on around, and it's got this to to get in the cracks. And I can just sit there and scrub-a-dub-dub, scrub-a-dub-dub, scrub-a-dub-dub. Whoa, let's get the floor. 
Get up, up, scrub a dub dub on the floor. Scrub a dub dub. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll have to stand up here for just a second. Oh, by the way, I finally can't just get all serious about everything. By the way, this got a brush attachment, and then I went ahead and bought uh, two spare uh, attachments. Now, this is just a um, some of my um, uh, wipes. Uh, I, back in the day, I didn't buy the baby wipes. I bought just the regular wipes, and they, they dried out. But it's ideal to put on here, and then you just spray some vinegar or dip it in the bucket, and then you can use it with the, with the wipes. And then just throw the wipes away when you're done. Okay, so that, that, that got that. Uh, the next thing was uh, my wife had this piece of shit mop. Man, I, <laughs> I already threw it away. So what you want to do is go out and get... Get the cat daddy, man. I mean, get, these are you can get these at Home Depot or whatever. I like it because it's got the handle and then this uh, this this lid pops off. Now this will rust out eventually, but not if you take care of it. And then these sponges are replaceable, and I like the fact that it's got the brush right here. So that was another thing I had to buy. <clears throat> so now I got a mop. I threw away because hers was this little stringy thing, you know, like the ones that you use and uh, you see the janitors in the schools, you know, they got the mop bucket and that. That's what she had. I got rid of that piece of shit. All right. So here's here's another example of uh, uh, this is a, this is a bottle that was used for something else. So this is distilled white vinegar. So you know the first one I don't remember what was in there. Just kind of showing you some examples. Um, this, by the way, uh, if you can buy, and unfortunately, you know, I, I like dual purpose stuff. Um, you can go, <clears throat> you can buy the uh, lime away, uh, rust away, and uh, have it sit in the closet because how often are you going to use it for tools and, and stuff like that? Or you can get this. This is for the toilet for lime away. And by the way, it works on tools and everything. So eventually I'll use this up in the toilet. I don't have to worry about because what happened was with my lime away because I never used it because uh, I maybe you can put it in a toilet I don't know <coughs> but um, the rice the bottoms rust out of it and then you got a mess you know whereas just buy these occasionally and just use them in the toilet and by the way I had a lot of lime and rust in the toilet but along with dead bugs turds I mean you know, I thought I had a mice infestation but I haven't seen a mouse since I've been here oh good funny <laughs> two funny stories let's let's we're probably gonna have to end we'll end the video right here because uh, I'll get into the rest of this in the next video but uh, so the first funny story is that you know I got to clean the cabinets and I'm kind of working my way through the house so the first order of business was the bathroom and uh, and so what would happen is I got a little stool and I would get Get down on the stool, but my legs, because of the atrophy, don't have the, I don't have the strength to stand up. <laughs> so I'm stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I'm like, where's the dog? Maybe the dog can help me. You know, look at his little paws. I'll push you up, Daddy. Whoops, sorry. I'll push you up. I'll push you up. Uh, anyway, no. So what, what I found is if I could grab onto the sink and probably not wrench the whole vanity away from the wall, uh, I, I could pull myself up. Or if you just get down on one knee... I don't know why, but it's easier to get on that knee. Boy, it hurts on that concrete. And then just kind of use the stool with one hand to get yourself going and then pull yourself up. But in the kitchen, I got I got stuck on the floor. <laughs> I was cleaning the kitchen cabinet. And I'm laying on the floor. Because, I well, well, like I said, the garbage disposal is bad. And so I was just trying to get the numbers off of it and to figure out, you know, I, at that time, I did not know that, you know, it doesn't matter what pretty much what you buy. They're pretty standard. Um, but it, I didn't know. I wanted to get the name of it and everything. And so I'm laying there. And then, then I realized with my broken collarbone, when you're laying on concrete, I mean, I can't roll to the right. And if I roll to the left, it, anyway, it was, I bet it took me a half an hour to get up off the floor <laughs> to get back to, to where I could stand up again. You know, I mean, I, these are the things that you run into. So then, of course, I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm getting to work on it. But one of the things I kept running into in the house, like I said with the exterminators, was I kept running into cobwebs. And I'm like, where the hell are these cobwebs coming from? So the, the first one was there was a spider right over here. And man, I killed, I, I pounded on him. And uh, he came back to life and uh, disappeared. So he's probably in here somewhere. But then I, so I'm in the bathroom, you know, and I'm thinking, well, I better get to work on the master bath. Because eventually, you know, I want the ability to be able to use both bathrooms. And uh, man, I got in there. I don't know if it's just Florida or maybe your town. I mean, they make them big, man. 
big brown sp hairy spider. He's hanging out in the, in the, and by the way, cobwebs all in the shower, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting there and bumping into the cobwebs. And of course I'm chasing that spider with the, the new uh, cleaning thing, trying to kill him, you know, and I finally, I did get him, get, get him dead. I mean, but this is what the, exter I'm calling the exterminators again next week. I'm saying, look, man, I'm still finding uh, dead well, some dead bugs, but, you know, still fine in spite. And by the way, these, uh, even though they're big, you know, they, they, usually I never see them in a web, but I guess they still spin webs because I keep bumping into cobwebs. So there's spiders all in this house, you know, and I, I got arachnophobia. I mean, oh, my God, you know. So let's, uh, let's finish this video up right there because they just get too long. Um, I guess uh, we already talked about uh, Ukraine. We talked about China. Um, I tell you what, I, I mean, this, this, is, this is not good, man. The only good thing I, I can think of that's going to come out of it is we've already purged, uh, for the most part, all the patriots from the military. So, uh, so the good news is, is that the woke warriors, <laughs> they're the ones that are going to be fighting the Chinese. And uh, I, don't, I don't think that battle's going to last very long when you got a bunch of woke warriors that... Uh, that uh, they're more worried about uh, their gender than uh, than fighting a battle. We'll see how that goes because that's that was the big deal. You know, they wanted to make sure they they got people in the military uh, and kicked all. You know, if you're a MAGA person, you're out of the military now. Uh, if you wouldn't get the vaccine, uh, you're out of the military now. So uh, so they've done a huge purge on the military, and uh, I I can't imagine these woke warriors are going to be good fighters. But uh, who knows? You know, they may surprise you. I think they're more better at being totalitarian thugs, which was their purpose. Uh, it's just that um, the short-sightedness of the globalists, I mean, I can't say Biden. I mean, the guy's living in a basement now. He's had COVID twice. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Isn't it great that you got them vaccines? I mean, I, you know, I, I, I try not to, you know, my wife goes, she goes, you push everybody, my ex-wife, she goes, you push everybody away when you talk about that stuff. You push everybody away. You know, I just want to look around at all these people that got vaccinated and I want to say, well, didn't you just, because the neighbor up the street, again, she just had COVID a second time. And I said, you know, I, I haven't had COVID, not since I had it. I mean, I've already had it. I got natural immunity, uh, which, you know, oh, God, I bet this video is going to get taken down. Now. There is no such thing as natural immunity. Let's just say that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, she got it. Biden, you know, he's been uh, vaxxed and double boosted. Anyway, uh, so on that prediction, um, we will get a strain of, um, of the virus. Uh, it's mutating uh, rapidly and... Uh, I, it is going to get serious again at some point. I hope it's not until after the election, because my prediction is there won't be an election. We're either going to have a huge terrorist instance. You can't pour millions of people, uh, drug addicts and, and uh, drug cartels across the border and not expect some, some major events in the country. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of bad people, uh, probably terrorists in the country right now. And I think that's what the Democrats are counting on. They want, uh, they want some big incidents so they can declare martial law and, uh, so much for the uh, 2022 election, or if they get another strain of COVID, they can get back to the uh, the uh, mailboxes and uh, and circumvent you know all of the uh, legislatures as far as the voting process goes. And uh, well, we can't say they cheated, but it does make fraud a bit more uh, easy. All right, that's it. We'll get this video up, and then we'll work on the next one. Boo dog, say hi to the boo dog. Say hi, boo. Hi, boo. Oh, we got to do the mantra. Good to be back in the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis, where we have no mandates. Uh, if you're a nurse, a doctor, or a police officer, you are welcome here. And uh, by the way, if you have a woke district attorney um, here in Florida that you uh, want to identify to the governor, he'll get rid of them and make sure that you are well supported as a police officer because we love you. We've got our own uh, state national guard now, which I, I, there's not too many people there. But if you want to, uh, uh, if you've been kicked out of the military, at least you could put in for it. I think the more applications that they get, the more we might want to expand the state national guard and draw down on the uh, uh, the federal national guard. So that's just my opinion, and and why I I prefer that. Well, <clears throat> there was a little thing called the Civil War back in 1860. Just saying. All right, peace out. Oh, there goes my mic. Damn it.